coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm gonna have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts. Shout out to everybody out there on Team Banky Pound, man. I appreciate the love. Bam, 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 boom, 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 boom. Appreciate the support. We out here, man. We out here. 33 years. 33 years of prison stories, man. I appreciate all the love. I appreciate all the support. I appreciate TBP to the fullest, man, for rocking with me. For um you know, making this movement a real thing, man, making it, making it do what it do, man, I appreciate that so much, uh, words would never be able to describe that, man, you know, uh, man, I, I, hey, listen, listen, man, I feel so, so blessed to, um, to be out here, man, after, after all that time and all the things that I experienced, all the things I seen, all the things I had to go to, uh, go through to get to this point, you know, I just feel, uh, I feel humbled and blessed, man, to, to be out here and to be able to be with my family, to be able to be with my kids, my grandkids, and, you know, to be able to see them when I want to see them and spend time with them, you know, uh, it just reminds me of, you know, the misery and, 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 and the, uh, the, the, the atmosphere that I came out of, man, and I'm appreciative of that, man, very much so, you know, so, you know, I just wanted to speak about this for a little bit, man, just, just so when I see these people out here, you know, on the corner and they, you know, uh, got the cardboards out and they asking for money and they asking for help, and you see some of them, man, they, they elderly, and you know, uh, some of them young, you know, and I and I know, I know, you know, by now, you know, after three years, I know some of them, you know, running game, got that lost knee, that skull duggery, that Tom foolery with them. But in the same aspect, I know it's not all of them, you know what I'm saying? And, and it, it, it breaks your heart, man, to see them people like that that need help, and a lot of people won't, you know, won't try to help them, you know, and um. And that's how it is in prison, man. You know, you got all of these people, man, this this uh this going through it in there, they suffering, man. I, I still get calls all the time, man, and dudes in there going through it. I know what it's like because I went through it, you know, and they need help, they need support, they need somebody to just give them some encouragement sometime to give them a uh, you know, a, a lifting hand, man, and don't just put them down because of the position they in or 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 you know, their situation, man. So I, I, I be mindful of that when I see these people, you know, and I know I can't I can't help all of them, man, but I, I, I try to help the ones that I can, you know what I'm saying? If nothing else, I say something to them, you know, give them some type of encouragement, some type of, uh, you know, uh, positive words, man, so they can feed off of that positive energy to let them know, you know, what I've been through and that they can bounce back, man, no matter what the situation is, because... You know, if you can bounce back from 33 years of going through what I went through, man, I just, I just feel it's possible. You know, it's, 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 uh, it's possible for anybody. You know, so, you know, in the area that I'm in, you know, I see a lot of that. You know what I'm saying? So I've met a lot of these people. You know, over all the three years, man, and um, you know, was able to talk to some of them, man, was able to help some of them. It's just. It just to me, if I, I always wonder when I see them, especially if it's a, it's, a, it's an older person, a male or a female, like where where are their family? You know what I'm saying? Why ain't they helping them? Why ain't you know? And I know a lot of them might got different dynamics. They might have you know um, you know burnt bridges with their family or whatever. But to see people out here in in this day and time, man, that's homeless and just sleeping on these streets, man, when it's raining, and it's cold, and it's, you know, it, it's just nasty out there, man. It just amazes me, you know, that we in America, and we can see this, man, on a day-to-day -day basis. So, it's just crazy, you know, and um, I just wanted to talk about it, man, just ask, you know, or, or to encourage you when you do see somebody like that, if you can help them, it don't matter what it is, if you can help them, man, just give them a little help, a little encouragement, man, a little, you know, it, something small goes a long way, you know what I'm saying, just being kind to them might go a long way because they're so used to people, 
you know, looking down on them or looking over them or looking past them or treating them as if they subhuman when in actuality they just human and they just in a bad position. You know, the same with dudes that's locked up. They human. You know what I'm saying? They just in a bad position. Either it be from bad choices, bad decisions, or, you know, mistakes that they made in life. But I just feel like they, you know what I'm saying, they still hold value. You know what I'm saying? They still hold value, great value, because of the fact that they're a human being. You know what I'm saying? They're a human being. So, you know, just keep that in mind, man, when you see these type of people out here on the street. You know, not to laugh at them, not to look down on them, not, not to judge them, but to try to, you know, help them, if nothing else, with, with some encouraging words or something like that, man. You know, so... uh yeah, it's just been on my, it's been in my spirit lately, man, because I see a lot of these people and um, the, the, the thing that really put it on, on my mind was, you know, um, I was coming, you know, from somewhere, you know, shopping and doing some things with, you know, with my niece not, you know, long ago and we was coming down the road and we see the bus stop. So we had to stop for the bus and while we stopped for the bus, this dude got out of the bus and you could see him just stumbling and, you know, he, he was holding on to a bag and he, boom, fell down and hit the ground, man, on the cement. Now, the bus driver who let him out, you know, and the whole bus full of people, they just pull off and leave. You know what I'm saying? They don't get out, try to help him, uh, you know, seeming like they ain't stopping, asking was he okay or nothing. He's actually laying on the concrete, you know, so when the bus pull off, and then we behind, so we go past. So I said, hold on, turn around and go back. You know what I'm saying? So we turned around and came back. And he had actually got up and had started walking a couple of more feet. And he stumbled again and just fell down in the grass. And he was just laying there. You know what I'm saying? And people is just driving by as if this is normal or if, if this is okay. You know what I'm saying? So we pull up over there where he at. And I get out. And I walk up to him and I ask him, is he Okay. And he said, he said, no, you know what I'm saying? I said, you sure, man, you need some help? He said, yeah. You know, so I reached down and tried to help get him up. And he was a big dude, so I was telling him, help me, help me, help, help me get you up. So I pulled him up and everything, get him up, man. I said, where you trying to go? He said, I'm trying to go right there. It wasn't no more than like 50 feet away, you know what I'm saying, where he said he live at. But he said he was, he was drunk. You know what I'm saying? I said, you drunk, man? He's like, yeah, I'm messed up. You know what I'm saying? And he was. He was messed up in a bad way. He took his shoes off. He had his shoes in his little bag. And I said, man, what you drink? And he said, everything. But this was the crazy part. He said he had drunk it the night before. You know what I'm saying? So he was still this drunk. And this is the morning time. He was still that drunk from last night. You know what I'm saying? I'm assuming going by what he said. But all he needed was just the help to get to his apartment, man. It just took just a little help, a little time out of your day. So I helped get him up, and I'm walking him to his apartment, and he's like, man, we got to walk slow. I can't, I can't. And I'm trying to hold him up because he heavy, you know. So we just walked, man, and I was just talking to him, and he was just telling me, you know, just, you know, how he appreciated it. And, you know, he kept on saying, man, you like... You like Channel 10, man. You on my side, man. You on my side. I said, yeah, bro, it ain't nothing. He said, man, I appreciate you. He just was showing so much, you know, appreciation for me to try to help him. You know what I'm saying? And and, and that that right there was, was gratifying enough for me. So we walking, man. We had to stop and he had to get a break because he was tired. And then, you know, he was just telling me, man, that, you know, you know, he, he got a good job. He all right. He live alone. You know, you know, he ain't nobody uh, showing him no love. So he just enjoy himself when he can and come home and, and be by himself, man. You know, and I was like, yeah, hey, ain't nothing wrong with that. A little solitude sometimes is all right. He was like, that's right. That's right. So, man, it just, I helped him get to his building. When he got to his building, he had a push code to get in. So I asked him, was he all right? He said, he was good from there. I said, you sure? He said, yeah, I'm good, man. You know, I appreciate you, man. You on my side. He kept like, we going viral. Because he seen my little niece filming and everything. So he was like, man, we going viral. We go. I said, man, we all right. So, you know, I say all that to say this. It, you know, it, that's something small. But to him, it was something big. Because he's laying out in the street when he actually got somewhere that he could stay. But... It, don't nobody take time to to help them up or somebody else come by and they joke them and laugh them or mess with them. That situation can turn into something else totally different. 
You know what I'm saying? When all he needed was just a little helping hand, man. Just a little helping hand. That's all I'm saying, man. If you can help somebody, just try to help them a little bit, man. It don't cost you nothing. You know what I'm saying? Zero. Not nothing, man. But it might mean everything to them. It might be the difference to them. So, you know, that's all I'm saying. You know, feed the positive, starve the negative, man. That's a, uh, that's a motto, man. That should be a lifestyle, man. You know I think when you put that out there in the air, man, you 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 get some of that back. You know what I'm saying? You don't do it for nothing, but you get that energy, that energy that you need. You know what I'm saying? Because if it was you, or if it was somebody you know, you would want the same. So just give what you would want. That's all I'm basically saying, man. And I know this ain't no video, but it's just something that I wanted to say. Help somebody if you could help them, man. It's the TBP way. That's what we about. We about feeding the positive, starving the negative, man. So y'all be safe out there, man. Be smart. Make good decisions, man. And uh, show some love when you can, man. Because it means a lot to some people. You know what I'm saying? It means a whole lot. You know what I'm saying? So appreciate y'all listening to me, man. Y'all be safe. Be smart, man. Make good decisions. And boom, 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 boom. Duck them hooks. I got that video, man. So hopefully it'll play after this. You know, y'all just check it out, man. And um. Just think about if that was somebody that you know and would you want somebody else to show them the same grace and kindness, man. That's all I'm asking, man. Y'all be safe. Bye. Sound like channel 10 on his side. <laughs>
coming out here after 30 years, yeah, I ain't got nothing, but I'm going to have something because I'm rich in personality, you know, and uh, I'm rich in love, my family love me, and that really, that's, that's really the, all that counts.